The X Caddis was uh, a fly that basically was invented by my wife, Jackie. Um, the same summer as we came up with a sparkle gun. We're having a heck of a time catching fish on an elk hair caddis. An elk hair caddis does a great job Im imitating a uh, egg laying caddis, skittering on the surface of the water, good rough water fly, good hydropsyche egg laying fly, but it's not a good fly that imitates a crippled or impaired caddis like an X caddis. And Jackie just said, heck, if the sparkle gun works for a mayfly, why don't you do the same thing for a caddis? Tie a shuck, a rough dub body and a deer hair wing laid flat over the body for a caddis. So we did and it worked like a dream. And it worked on the Henry's Fork and the Madison. We begin tying that fly by tying on a caddis dyed Zelon shuck. We're gonna trim that shuck. And again, it just imitates a trailing shuck with a lot of life, a lot of sparkle. Now we're gonna dub a rough body forward. And you wanna keep this dub body very rough, very shaggy. And because you, you wanna trap little pockets of air that trap sparkle like an emerging caddis. And caddis are bulbous, they're, they're robust, they're heavy bodied, not like a sparkle done, not like a mayfly done that's delicate like a mayfly. A caddis has got a little bit of beef to it. So you want a fat body and a shaggy body. You take your dub body forward to a point just behind the eye of the hook. And now you're gonna tie a down wing of deer hair. I always look for a piece of deer hair that is clean, again, hollow and coarse, so it flares and it floats well. And you don't have to babysit it. You don't have to sit there and comb all the under fur out, which takes a lot of time. This piece of deer hair is really clean and what I'll do is I'll trim it before I tie it on. That saves me a lot of jacking around, trying to get the fibers once I get them, trim them once I get them tied in. Okay, so I'm gonna tie that and I'm gonna, with my working thread, I'm gonna wrap through those wing butts. And what that does, is it seats that deer hair and it almost acts like a spun deer hair head, which really adds greatly in the flotation of this fly. And notice now we don't have to sit here and spend a half an hour trimming that head. We got a, a nicely trimmed head already because we pre-trimmed the deer hair. We've got a, a flared body that cups this caddis, the body of the fly, so it looks like a crippled caddis. And we've got the trailing shuck, X caddis. Works like a dream every time. 